Hello everyone, my name is Fajar Purnama. On this video, I'm going to do an audio blog which is about just selling your used stuff gives much benefits. So, I wrote blogs, articles and stuff and sometimes it's uh, much better to listen than to read because you can listen while you do some other stuff so here for the first time I'm going to provide an audio to my blog so the title is just selling your used stuff gives much benefit and let's continue do you have stuff that you no longer use why not sell those stuff instead of letting them being wasted and filling spaces Donating them is also a good idea that you will be helping people and making the world a better place and if you are a believer like me, good stuff comes around. 1. Why you should sell The saying is, your junk may be someone else's treasure. Your free up space and not waste you free up space and not waste those stuffs. Of course, you get money. If you are in a critical state, that money means a lot to help you survive to get food and water. If you are in a financial trouble, that money helps you pay your bills and debts. You can save that money as backup where you may need to use them later on. You can use them to diversify your assets, assets, such as buying gold, bitcoin, real estates, and consumables. You can use them to invest whether in some investment product or your own business. Most importantly, you gain experience. You have gone through the process of advertising and striking a deal with your client you added a skill in your skill column where who knows you may need it in the future the more you do the more easier and fun it gets the more the experience the knowledge and motivation marketing is one of the essential skills to get rich two how to sell your item prepare your mindset to save failures do not get discouraged by critics mocks and rejection test your test your item whether it works properly publishing your testing process is an advantage so in this so, rather than continuing to the audio blog, I'm going to, um, I'm going to integrate it with the exercise and with my, yeah, with the exercise. So, two, test your item whether it works properly. Publishing your testing process is an advantage. And you can look at the screen. Here, I posted a video on YouTube and here the video is about I'm, I'm going is about setting up SSMP3 player which I'm going to sell and here on this video I prove I showed my testing and showed that my SSMP3 player is still working properly now clean your item and package it well and here i prepare oops here i prepare the items and package them and then i took pictures okay this is taking long anyway here it is and I prepared images for me to advertise 
and then for survey the market I look at Amazon and find similar products to my SSMP3 the micro SD and so on you can go to Aliexpress or survey some other markets and then evaluate your item so my item is shown is this ones um, I even though I bought them a long time ago but I only opened the package today just to test it and so I can say it's almost unused therefore uh, my evaluation of my item is should be close to the price of these ones and not to mention if you order this online there is a delivery package so I will not be giving a, div a div delivery price therefore I am confident in giving a price close to the to the market so I'm giving the mp3 player itself 100 yen and the uh, micro sd card 2 gigabyte uh, 300 yen and as i look at the usb for the charger and i cannot find the earphone the old which is old enough therefore i'm giving them out for free so i'm pricing my i think i'm going so i think i uh, normally I should price them 400 yen but I think I'm going to give it a uh, 500 yen so they may want to give me a 500 yen coin instead but if it doesn't if it's not sold for a long time then I will reduce the price annually and then so determine your price which I did and find an advertisement platform or make your own platform or just broadcast to your peers so I'm more likely to broadcast to my peers and combination of advertisement platform which is I'm currently in Japan Kumamoto and they have a Facebook group that sells secondhand for Kumamoto and I will sell my stuff here and place a detailed advertisement as much detailed as you can and always be honest open and polite to your customer even though your sales if you like being honest may not give you much profit or as and being open and being detailed and sometimes you do the opposite to get a, a greater profit but i do believe that in the long run being detailed honest and open is good for the long term especially if you're selling old products or used stuff and now I'm going to place my advertisement so I wrote I bought this item so I, the okay what am I selling I'm selling an Asus mp3 player plus two gigabyte SD card and adapter plus um type B USB cable and lastly old earphone and then the price i will set for 500 yen because it's in package and this is the place where i'm around now describe this is how i made my description i bought this item long time ago and never opened the package until now it is only used once for testing and I gave a, I gave a link to the testing process of the, the video testing process I accept different currencies including cryptocurrencies 
well this is for my personal because I'm engaged in many different types of payments such as PayPal of course the banks and digital wallets and I'm engaged in Bitcoin Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies and I'm able to cash them up or use them and here I make the specifications I'm not going to read them all out but here they are and finally I should place the photo and here are the photos and well package open okay and then next and post and here it is now my item is on the advertisement and now is to wait until a customer contacts me and if it take and if a long time pass I will reduce the price okay continue with the audio block make a deal once a customer arrives such as the price so even though there's a fixed price but your customer may, the, may bargain and okay do your bargaining and the delivery method if you're going to deliver or the place of place and time of meeting if you're going to meet and stick to that deal and be aware of special suspicious of activities I mean like be careful where you meet they may contact you and they may tell you to meet at a dangerous place and they may want to trick you or to do something bad so be careful of those kind of stuff even though that won't likely happen finally once a customer contact contacts you proceed with the transaction and keep yourself open I mean after the transaction is complete you receive your money and you gave your product but in the long run in the long term is always be it's always better to keep yourself um, to keep your contact and here are some two examples that I have sold so this one I have two for sale a uh, Rubik and the one that I just showed you and the one that I have sold is I have sold an EMA SP63613 speaker and I have sold a mini wireless keyboard. So this is a good experience. And it's one of as I said before in the in the previous audio blog that marketing is one of the essential skills to get rich so learning how to be a sales learning how to be a sales means that you try to cope with rejections to cope with failures to cope with critics so you won't be discouraged and have self-esteem knowing the market and advertisement even though you have a very good product it has no value unless it is on the market advertised and someone bought it someone buys it so that is all for my audio blog for now thank you for watching